This is Terry Sorensen, CEO of a 30-year-old nonprofit battling generational poverty. She's helped grow the program from five chapters to over 30 locations around the country. So we sat down to ask her, how do you choose the right locations to scale? If you would have asked me 10 years ago, I would have said I didn't think there was enough philanthropy or way to fund it in some cities. But um, I've come to change my mind about that. This is Stand Together Presents. Stories, ideas, and advice from changemakers tackling our biggest challenges. We've tried a lot in determining where we're going to go to scale, and what we found was when we wanted to go to a certain city or place, rather than the community asking for it first, it was very difficult. And in most cases, um, we weren't quite successful. I would advise really making sure that the community wants you. Do your research. Is there an organization already out there doing what you want to do? Does your program have the evidence that you can actually make change in that area? I just did a call yesterday from someone from Tulsa who really wants to implement the model. And so what we shared with them is Take a survey in your community. Start meeting with folks. We'll send you information about the model and see if there's a real genuine interest. And if there is, then we'll step in and help you. We want to see champions built across that community from a variety of backgrounds because we really want to come alongside and help each location make their own change with the lessons we've learned. So really digging in and making sure that the program's needed.